low. In this short lecture I will give you a couple of reasons for the non-existence of God. The first uh, reason for the non-existence of God is uh, because uh, God is uh, perfect uh, so he would have never created such uh, an imperfect world. The second reason for the non-existence of God is uh, because uh, God would have never created the human beings that are capable to do sins and crimes and so on. And uh, we also should ask, uh, we also should ask uh, the simple question why God created the human beings uh, from the beginning. If uh, the answer to that question is that uh, he wanted to put them to the test, uh, then it makes no sense because God could have created perfect creatures that will never do any evil or, or wrong or sins or crimes and then he didn't have to put anyone to the test and also we should know that God knows what will happen in the future and uh, for that reason he knew that the human beings uh, will do sins and crimes and evil so if you if uh, he knew it why he created them from the beginning as I have already said he could have created uh, perfect creatures that will never do any evil at all okay so from for that reason we can say that uh, God didn't uh, create the human beings that is to say God doesn't exist the third uh, reason for the non-existence of God is that uh, God would have never created uh, such a reality in which there is so much uh, human suffering, uh, so much uh, violence, so much uh, cruelty, so much uh, deaths and uh, so much murders, uh, so much uh, diseases and uh, so much wars and uh, so much uh, natural disasters uh, such as earthquakes and floods and hurricanes so such uh, uh, a bad world would have never created by God therefore we can say that God didn't create the world. That is to say, God doesn't exist. Uh, the fourth reason for the non-existence of God is that God would have never created such a world in which the, that the very existence of the predator is dependent in his ability to kill the prey. The very existence of the lion is dependent in his ability to kill the lamb or the deer or any other animal in order to survive. So such a cruel reality where there, are so, where there is so much injustice would have never been created by God therefore God didn't create it, uh, the world that is to say God doesn't exist the fifth reason for the non-existence of God is that uh, there are actually three 
monotheistic uh, religions monotheistic uh, is defined as a belief in one god or the oneness uh, or the oneness of god and uh, they actually contradict each other in their explanation or descriptions descriptions of how God created the world and uh, they also don't have the same God the God of the Judaism is not the same God as the God of the Christianity or the God of the Islam uh, so because of all those uh, contradictions and uh, differences in gods we can uh, the those that uh, they, they are all uh, not true, they are false. They are the invention of the human beings. And uh, that is to say, God doesn't exist. And uh, the last reason for the non-existence of God is actually, there is a logic reason. We can say that uh, logically it is impossible that such an entity that is omnipotent uh, can exist or uh, logically uh, such a being that is all power cannot exist and uh, I will explain why because we can ask uh, the simple question if God is able to create such a big stone that he himself cannot lift? If the answer to that question is positive, then we can deduce that God is not able to lift the stone that he himself created. Therefore, God is not omnipotent. God is not all power. And if the answer to that question, if the answer to that question is negative, then we can also say that God is not able to create such a big stone that he himself cannot lift. Therefore, God is not omnipotent. God is not all power. Anyway, from that uh, example, we can deduce that such an entity that is omnipotent cannot exist uh, logically. Such a being that is uh, all power uh, logically cannot exist. So God that is defined as all power cannot exist logically and therefore God doesn't exist. So those uh, were all the reasons for the non-existence of God. Okay, thank you very much.